Hey folks, I've got a bunch of exceptionally dumb stuff I'm very excited about that I'm doing for part two of the gunnery guide. Here's a quick teaser. But since putting all that ridiculous together is taking time, I decided I should probably release this relatively quick interim video to deal with some of the issues I found since I completed all that range finding stuff. Now some people have requested, and it's actually something I wanted to include from the start, uh, a chart summarizing all the sizes, the lengths and the widths of the various tanks you'll be facing, maybe even some of the range measurements as well. So you could use that as a reference and just kind of learn them directly instead of doing all the math. That only makes sense, but I still think it's probably a good idea that you at least spend a little bit of time doing a few examples yourself, working out the math, etc. This will help to make sure that you understand the concept correctly, and I think you'll also find that it'll help to train you to get that data from memory instead of having to refer to a chart all the time. That said, for your convenience, I'm going to include some links to some range charts that some helpful people have pointed me towards in the description of the video here. There's a few very important caveats. One, again, I didn't make these charts, so credits to whoever put them together. More importantly, though, I can't guarantee that the numbers in these charts are completely accurate to the game at the moment. See, while I was editing that last video, they released the update that made us that you would face your opposing team's targets while you're in the testing range, instead of always being German stuff. With more sample targets available, I've spent a fair amount of time in the testing range, probably too much really, trying to double check all my measurements. Now I still don't have a good way to measure every single vehicle available, but I've come to an important conclusion. And that is that the scale of the markings on the horizontal axis of the gun sight is quite simply just a bit too large. What this basically means is that measurements you take will tend to be one or two units larger than they probably should be especially at closer ranges. That's because the difference of scale becomes more and more pronounced the further out you get from the center. With this extensive testing, I found that if I check with an appropriately rescaled gun sight, the size of pretty much any tank I can check easily in the game seems to be more or less bang on with the sizes given most commonly online. So that's where we stand in the game at the moment when it comes to range finding. When this video is complete, I'm going to post it and an explanation of my methodology onto the official bug form. Assuming I'm correct in my findings, making the adjustment to the scale in the game shouldn't be a huge deal. Worst case, it'll also probably be sorted out once these placeholder sites aren't in the game anymore. In the meantime, if you want your range estimate to be more accurate, you should probably add about one or two to the measurement the closer the target is adding more if the actual size of the target is larger. Now does the site being off by one or two units really make that big a difference in most situations? Eh, probably not. But it's really the principle of the thing here. Like with my ammo video, I'm really striving to make all the information presented in these accurate and applicable to the actual game itself. After all, what's the point of making a range chart with a bunch of different vehicles with different sizes if the numbers aren't going to work out right in the game anyway? At that point, the whole endeavor is kind of just a waste of time. You might as well just simplify things and use one or two main averages and only deal with the data for those. I guess I have a mission statement here and that I'm willing to research stuff way more than it's probably worthwhile just to ensure that it's maximum accurate to the game. I like to call that respecting you, the viewer. You might like to call it really dumb. The judges will accept either. And with that, I think we can close the book on this whole range finding business for now. Again, you'll find a link to a few quick reference range charts I've stumbled upon in the description below. All credits and thanks to the people who both made and linked to these. And in the future, if there's ever a convenient way for me to get for sure accurate to the game measurements of every vehicle, I'll probably make one of my own. If someone else better doesn't beat me to it. And they probably will. And now that that's more or less cleared up, I promise the next video will contain many more explosions and other exciting and or really, really dumb things. I hope you can find a way to contain your excitement. See you then.